Hey there, um, all my beautiful um, friends and subscribers. Um, thank you for tuning in to my show, Working with Ascended Masters and Elements. And today, the Ascended Master that we're working with or that we're invoking, I would encourage you to invoke Lord uh, Maitreya. Lord Maitreya is head of the Great White Brotherhood, the beings whose auras radiate the pure white of integrity and high intention. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to examine every area of your life carefully and practice purity of thought, word, and deed. You are asked to be an example of right living, for your light will then draw many of the extensions way. Your reward is the peace that passes all understanding and the joy of flowing smoothly on your higher path in life. In your affirmation today, should be, I connect with the Great White Brotherhood and radiate pure white light today. So um, let me just explain this, and it really ties in. I mean, I just did a, um, a I, I did a show for my Love Channel show and also my daily message, and it all reflects on high integrity and uh, just pure thoughts, uh, manifesting those pure thoughts. Um, and in examining every, every air, area of your life, sorry, I can't talk all of a sudden, but as I said in a previous show, that 2018 has just been a time of healing and getting rid of all the old junk that we no longer need. 2019 is, is bringing promise and just really good things into your life and um, so now is the time to really start tapping into Lord Maitreya and um, asking that your mind be set to the highest imp uh, integrity. Um, clear out those negative thoughts. And, um, and just remember also that if you're thinking negative thoughts about other people or other situations, you know, tapping into all the drama, that is energy that you're putting out and that energy will come back in so if you're putting bad out bad is going to come back if you're putting good in good is going to come back um but your rewards and all of that this as it said you know is peace and joy you know there's nothing like having this amazing joyful peace in your life as you continue to um to be on your your path, your life journey, whatever your path you're supposed to be on. Um, I, I, I just want to also tell you that um, as you're examining everything in your life, your your friendships, your love life, your family, your work, and and staying true to yourself um, and not allowing, you know, setting those boundaries and not allowing um, things that you don't want in your life to, to cross over it, the boundary to you. As you're doing that, um, you're just, you know, you're showing yourself self-respect, self-integrity. And as you're putting that energy out, um, those you're going to draw those people towards you that um, will respect that and will lift you up as you are lifting them up as well. But I do have to warn you, um, and I, I saw something on Facebook recently. It was like, um, if you have light inside you and other people have dark demons, those energies conflict. So if you're on your job or you're in a relationship and there's conflict, and you know that you've been doing everything that you're supposed to do to keep your integrity and self-respect high, but yet you've still got this person coming at you or whatever, just know it's not you. They have an energy or uh, a darkness in them that can't deal with your light. And I, I remember um, I, I was involved in a relationship for two and a half years. And it was, and, and the gentleman, or the boy, I call him a boy, the boy that I was uh, involved with, he, um, he was 45 years old, but anyway, he was an alcoholic. And um, 
you know, when I first met this person, I drank. I mean, I wasn't an alcoholic, but I, you know, we partied a little bit and everything. And as time went on, I decided that I, I could no longer drink. I didn't want to drink. My spiritual level was raising to a higher level, and it just wasn't something I was interested in doing. And, um, and I always, people would ask me after we broke up, what do you see in him? Why do you want to be back with him? And I would always tell people that there was a moment, a few moments, that I saw in him that his light, his light that was shining, and it was so beautiful. But he drowned, he continued to drown on a daily basis, that light, with alcohol. And as it, uh, you know, two, two and a half years later, um, he couldn't, he, he threw me to the curb. He didn't want to have anything to do with me. He didn't want to be around me. And, and I, it was one day that I was uh, meditating and I realized the reason why he didn't want to be around me. Nothing that I had done to him um, or anything, but it was his darkness that couldn't handle my light. And so, of course, we broke up. And, uh, and I learned from that, you know, that the only people that I want in my life are people of that light because people of the darkness, we clash. So just remember that as you're trying to clear out your, your thoughts and, and purify your thoughts and, and your heart and heal and bring yourself to a higher level, there's always going to be somebody that has darkness in them and they may try to create conflict for you or hurt you in some way. And you just have to shield it and set those boundaries and continue to move forward in your life. So I hope this makes sense to you. Thank you so much for joining me today on working with the Ascended Masters and Elements. Um, if you have a comment, please leave a comment. I always answer them. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, please click the uh, like button and also subscribe to my channel. And if you want a tarot reading, you can always go to my, sh uh, my website at www.gypsyspiritcharleston.com. Until we meet tomorrow, thank you so much, and you have a very magical day. Bye-bye.